Hey guys, what's up? It's Darren here with a Nintendo DS video. As you can see in there, there's a cartridge. It's Lilo and Stitch. Um, I'm going to show you that it's not actually working at the moment. Okay. If you see the screen, you touch the screen, it says there's no game pack inserted. At the top is Pokemon Pill. That's the other cartridge slot. So I'm going to power down. I'm going to show you the condition. As you can see here, <laughs> I think a dog got hold of this cartridge or something. I mean, yeah, you can see some puncture wounds in that or a little gunner shot it. So what I'm going to do is I've just got a standard screwdriver. This has a funny screw head. It's got like a Y-shaped screw in it. So if you can find it, then that's cool. But if not, you just use a little flat and just gently let it turn it and it should come out. Then there's a slight sliding down mechanism. Sorry, I don't know if you can see much, um, but this is not the main part of what I want to show you. If you want to learn how to take them apart, it's not that hard. It's just one screw and then you just slide it very slightly and you get it out. Okay, so if you can see here, this is the inside of your cartridge. Now, that ribbing there, the gold part, is what's important. And if that's dirty or whatever, then it's not good. Um, there's a bit of residue on the back. I'm not sure if that's adhesive for the cartridge itself or not. So I'm just going to clean it off and just see what happens anyway. Um, so I've got a toothbrush, very fancy tools, um, some window lean. I'm not sure. Sorry, the camera angle isn't that great. Um, I'm not sure what it's called in America. It might have a different name. I will have to find out and let you know in the comments. Um, if you know, then let me know. And all that I'm doing is on that gold ribbing, I'm just giving it a bit of a rinse with the window lean. Um, you also want to have some toilet paper or something handy just to give that excess a wipe off. Um, because if you don't, then it could cause short circuits and we don't want that happening either. So yeah, just sorry, I know I'm not showing you properly. But if you just give it a nice scrub, then that should do the trick. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you and test it out in front of you. I don't want any people saying, oh, he just used a different cartridge. Because he can make so much money doing that. Um, so I've just got to give this a wipe down. Okay, so I've given it a wipe down. Um, I don't know if you can see clearly, but it is a bit cleaner than it was. There is also another mini trick. Um, what you can also do is look for any hard dirt and just use your nail quite softly on each gold part um, and kind of scrape it off with your nail just like that, as you can see there. Sorry, I know the angles are not good. This camera is on my phone and it's poop. Okay, and then you use an eraser or a rubber, wherever you're from, whatever you call it, what you'd use to rub out pencil drawings. And you just wipe it along again. Like I say, this gold part is really your biggest issue. The other things to look out for is kind of along there, if there's any um, corrosion or anything, anything that might cause a short circuit. Now, a short circuit will be two separate gold pieces that shouldn't be making contact by any means or making contact. You don't want that happening. So you don't want, oh my God, it feels like there's wax on this thing. But I think we can actually, yeah, I can literally scrape this wax off. So I don't think that's supposed to be on here at all. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my nail and hope that this works better afterwards because I don't think there should be wax, like I say. I don't know how wax gets there or if this was left in the sun and some of the plastic just melted onto it. But I mean, sheesh, that's crazy. Maybe these games were made in a wax factory. I don't know. You're welcome to leave your opinion in the comments of why it's like that. Um, but yeah, that's just my personal way of doing it without having the correct stuff. Yeesh. This is crazy. But yeah, like basically, as far as I know, all you have to do is make sure that all this, these separate gold pieces aren't touching by any means. 
So like for example, this waxy residue must not let it create a short circuit at all. So you just want to go over there. Like that pod, green part of the board is just plastic. It's not really going to do much. Um, there are a few spots there where my thumb is. Sorry, this camera. So yeah, you just go over it with your thumb kind of gently, but a bit aggressively. And you just want to make sure that you getting that excess crud off because if it's on there, it's not helping you. Um, yeah. And we're going to see now if we play Lilo and Stitch or not. Because if this works, then it's going to be all right. And if it doesn't work, then I lost 15 Rand, which converts to about a dollar. So I guess that's not that bad in the long run. Um, I've actually learned some stuff. I actually had a Super Mario cartridge, the one for the DS, the smaller one, that didn't work at all. And I used the same window lean method and the eraser method and that kind of thing. And yesterday I plugged it in and it worked. So that is why I am showing you this video. Sorry, I actually wish I had done it on the Mario. I know people love Mario and um, they would have probably enjoyed seeing that more than Lilo and Stitch. But yeah, let's just hold thumbs now and see what happens. Okay, so obviously you put the cartridge back in. Put that back in there. I don't know, maybe the dog was made of wax and it melted when it was chowing down on this cartridge. So I don't know. So yeah, we've put a cartridge in. Let's just take a look. I want the moment of reveal to be both of us and not just me. There is no game pack in the Game Boy. Okay, I think what we'll have to do is I will have to try and clean this up a bit more. Another thing I do, which is not good and not advisable, but if you've got an old Game Boy to test on and you don't mind it stuffing out, is that gold part where I put the eraser on. You can even give that a lick. Um, you might laugh. It's fine. But sometimes it works. Sometimes, and with a lot of electronics, there, start GBA game. Oh, hello, Darren. We are working. Let's see if it recognizes. Oh, ho! Oh. That is amazing. So like I say, I don't advise it all the time, but with a little lick, sometimes it just fixes everything. This was never happening before. This is quite crazy. <laughs> Maybe that's all I had to do and the whole cleanup wasn't necessary. But yeah, let's see if the volume's working. Come on, give us some volume there. Yep. The volume is now working, everything works. That's amazing. And this actual DS I picked up for, what do you probably say about $10. Um, the guy was selling it at a risk. He said uh, he doesn't know if it works, he doesn't have a charger to test, he doesn't know much about them. So I said, cool, I'll take the risk. And yeah, $10, so it's $10, a dollar for the game. That's 11 bucks. This is ah, pretty cool. Yeah, so if you've got any questions and feel free or any advice even, maybe easier techniques, better techniques that are less foolproof. Um, like I say, this is just toothbrush and other rubbish. It's not the proper stuff by any means. So yeah, this is really just more for a last minute resort and I mean a last resort. So please don't take my word as law and don't freaking... Go do this to your brand new stuff. Rather take that into the professionals. Unless you're willing to lose it. Anyway, keep safe guys. Um, yeah, I hope you're doing well in this time. And cool.